Are you a coffee person or an energy drink person? Maybe you start your day with a cup of coffee or 12, and then you need an energy drink in the afternoon to get you through the rest of your day. In this video, I wanna share some quick, simple tips on how you can have better energy levels. I actually have a healthy energy drink to show you. So unfortunately, a lot of the mainstream energy drinks have been found to be really bad for our heart, even associated with death and other really, really scary issues. So thank you for joining me for this video and let's dive right in. Most of us are drinking caffeine on a pretty regular basis. And while reducing or eliminating caffeine is a pretty healthy thing to do, it's not super realistic for most of us, especially if we feel like we need caffeine to get us through our day or get us through our morning. So a couple things that you can do, first of all, are to look at getting a cleaner source of caffeine. So a big part of the reason that we feel those jitters and that just overall shaky, horrible feeling after too much coffee is actually from the toxicity of the mold that grows on coffee beans. So if you're just searching for a cleaner source of caffeine, um, organic coffee, or just more naturally, healthfully sourced caffeine, that's gonna be a good step towards reducing those jitters and crashy, horrible feeling that we get after drinking coffee. It's also a good idea to reduce the amount of coffee you're drinking, or simply slowing down how fast you're taking in the caffeine. So rather than chugging your cups of coffee really quickly, if you can just sip them more slowly throughout the day, you're gonna be less likely to experience those crashes and jitters. Energy drinks have taken a lot of space in headlines recently. And unfortunately, it's because they're being associated with heart issues, heart disease, and even early death. Now, the cases of people and teenagers that have actually died from drinking too much caffeine should certainly be scaring all of us into trying to avoid energy drinks. But I know that for those of you out there that are drinking energy drinks all the time, going down to no energy drinks is not super realistic. So I wanna show you this awesome dark dog organic energy drink. Now I'm so excited about these because now I finally have a healthier alternative to recommend to people. Because I've been discouraging energy drinks for a long time, but I know it's gonna be a lot easier to switch over to a healthier energy drink than to just immediately give them up altogether cold turkey. So it's a much cleaner source of caffeine, um, and it's actually certified organic, non-GMO. In addition to being a clear source of caffeine, it's also free of a lot of the other just kind of toxic ingredients that are really common in our energy drinks, uh, like taurine and artificial sweeteners. There's usually a lot of weird, crazy chemicals on an energy drink, uh, but these are, again, super clean and they actually offer some health benefits as well. So antioxidants from the acerola berry. Remember when you think antioxidants, think anti-aging. Uh, so these are great because they're giving you some clean, healthy caffeine or healthier caffeine anyway. These are only 50 calories a can. So if you're watching your weight, then this is also a great choice for you. Um, and because of those extra vitamins and antioxidants, uh, they actually give you some health benefits as well. So I love having a healthier energy drink to recommend. Um, and these taste really great. And they have a variety of different flavors. Uh, I also have a buy one, get one free coupon code for you down in the video description. My next tip is to get off of the blood sugar roller coaster. So most of us are in this constant habit of letting our blood sugar get really low in between meals or when we wake up in the morning and we need to break our fast, break the long fast that we've had throughout the night. Um, and so what do we do? We take in a bunch of sugar 
And what that does is it spikes our blood sugar level up really quickly. Then the body scrambles to release insulin and get that blood sugar level back down because that's a life or death situation right there, your blood sugar level. So your body releases all this insulin, now your blood sugar drops and we get that sugar crash. So when you're constantly on the blood sugar roller coaster, letting your blood sugar get real low and then spiking it up with a lot of sugar, you are going to have energy issues. This not only causes your body a huge amount of stress, but it also reduces your energy levels as your blood sugar levels start to crash down too slowly. So doing simple things like trying to, of course, reduce your sugar intake. Also remember that your bread, your potato chips, those empty carbs are also gonna spike your, your blood sugar levels up very quickly. So reducing your carbohydrates, reducing your processed foods overall, because your processed foods are almost always gonna have a bigger blood sugar spike than eating more natural foods, like legumes, whole grains, obviously your vegetables are probably the best thing that you can do. And then simple things like making sure that you have some healthy fats with your meal is another way to slow down the actual breakdown of the sugar so that you have um, energy for a longer period of time. And that fat also, uh, because it slows down the, the sugar breakdown, uh, means that you don't get as big of a blood sugar spike. So as you get off of the blood sugar roller coaster, it should also help improve your mood and reducing irritability. It's kind of an added perk, uh, but it's gonna do a lot to help keep you feeling energized throughout the day. And it's a healthier thing to do overall. Another great perk of trying to eat cleaner, eat more vegetables, eat more natural foods, is that you're also gonna be taking in a lot more nutrients, um, enzymes, minerals, antioxidants, um, vitamins, all these wonderful little nutrients that also help your body make energy. So turning that glucose or sugar into ATP, the energy currency of the body, that requires a lot of different nutritional components. So one of the big ones that people think about is B vitamins. So it's not that a B vitamin is made out of energy, but a B vitamin is a part of the process that your body does to turn that glucose into energy. Uh, so that's another great thing about the dark dog drinks is they actually have B vitamins in them. So between eating healthier foods and switching to a healthy, healthier energy drink that maybe even has some added vitamins in it uh, is a great way to help assist your body in producing energy. And that's what it comes down to. How do we give our body the things it needs to make energy the way it's supposed to um, and keep us feeling energized, keep our mood elevated, etc. So what happens when we drink caffeine? So we're stimulating our adrenals to create energy that doesn't really exist. It's kind of like going to the bank and taking out a loan. So every time you drink caffeine, it's like you're going to the little energy bank and taking out a loan. Well, eventually, if you are constantly taking out loans from the bank and you never pay it back with good sleep, eventually the bank says, uh, I'm gonna stop loaning you money slash energy right? So that's what's known as adrenal fatigue. And the bottom line is that if we're drinking caffeine too often and not getting sleep, not taking care of ourselves, eventually we'll get to where the caffeine doesn't even help. If that's where you're at right now, you really need to work on reducing and maybe even eliminating the caffeine for a while. Maybe you just try to once or twice a week, not have any caffeine or if you normally have four cups of coffee, go down to three, go down to two. Whatever little simple tweaks you need to make, any reduction in caffeine is gonna be a benefit. So obviously the best way to have healthy energy levels is to get plenty of sleep. And I know you don't need me to tell you that, but I will just talk a little bit about improving your sleep. Things like reducing the amount of time you spend in front of the TV or in front of a computer before bed, um, and just trying to be in the dark, or at least in reduced light before bed, can help you get a better night's sleep. 
I also love using an essential oil diffuser at night, um, not only because the lavender or rosemary or whatever scent that you use is calming, helps your mind and body feel more relaxed, but it also helps you take deeper breaths. One of the big reasons that we feel anxiety throughout the day or at night when we're trying to sleep is just that the body's not getting enough oxygen. So probably the best and certainly the cheapest way to get better sleep is just taking deeper, slower breaths. And then I also love using a magnesium oil. This one's just a topical spray. So it's awesome. If you're laying there in bed and you either have pain or tension or maybe your feet and legs feel restless, a little magnesium is excellent for helping your muscles to relax and helping you to get a good night of sleep. I wanna thank you so much for watching this video. A big thanks to Dark Dog for sponsoring this video in part. And remember, I've got that buy one, get one free code for you in the description so you can try out some Dark Dog for yourself. I hope these tips are helpful for you. I hope that you have better energy levels after watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have a great day. With hundreds of videos that you can stream on virtually any device to help you reduce stress, lose weight, or just improve your health and well being overall. At wellnessplus.tv, we are dedicated to helping you on your health and wellness journey. Join wellnessplus.tv to find hundreds of videos to help you improve the health of your body and your mind. Wellnessplus.tv, get well, feel better.